people, it's me, Schuster, in the previous episode. We bought Queen Bean, and we've been tasked to, um... Can we buy stuff? No, we can't. We, we've been tasked to go to Chucklehuck Woods and go find Chocola Cola for, um, Queen Bean, because she is, she has eaten a belly black worm. Alrighty, this is what I meant. We can go get these, uh... Equips and we'll see. Um, I will give Mario work pants. Well, actually, I'll buy two of them. Yes, I want two of these. Oh, wait, wait, I should go buy a badge too. Um, Mario already has one, and uh, I don't think those are worth it. <laughs> Going shopping in a crisis like this, you're so wonderful. I was so, that's a hilarious thing to say. Um, okay, so they're already wearing them because I put those settings before and I wasn't paying attention because I'm smart. So we're gonna go ahead to Chuckle Huck Woods and um, over here we have Lack of Peas, which I, in the pre, before we, I've said wrong stats, which I'm probably gonna. I'm probably not gonna read off of because we'll write them down in the. No, I'll just read off of them. Why not? Let me go get my notes. Der, 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 notes, notes. These are Lapapis. They have 40 HP, 60 defense, 35 speed, 20 experience, and they drop 12 coins. They all, um. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's a wrong enemy. I'm smart. These are Sharpies, actually. They have 8 HP, 22 defense. 32 speed and 2 XP. They drop one coin, and they also drop a Woo Bean. Okay, these are Sharpies. I know that. Okay? Trust me. See? Sharpie. Apparently, I can't tell the difference between a Spiny, a Lacopy, and a Sharpie. Wow. I'm just terrible, aren't I? I'm pretty sure there might be a pipe somewhere around here you can just access. Okay. At the, all the way at the bottom. Yeah, there should be a pipe. So, if you ever want to teleport to Stardust Fields now, you can go over there. See? This is why it's important to get these pipes. I believe there's also one at Bean Bean Castle, but I forgot to get it. So, uh, I'm clumsy. Hee <laughs> So, over here, I'm pretty sure this is where you're supposed to go. And there's... A, I thought those were Tanoombas, but they're Sharpies. But saying Sharpie so many times just reminds me of, like, the marker. These guys are permanent, I guess you can say, too. And just get up here. Er, Luigi, hurry up and get over here. And I went all the way up here for nothing. Let me just jump on you while you're in the air. So yeah, that takes care of his wings. Oh, boy. Oh yeah, just to keep in mind, do, you should not hammer at flying enemies, because it will miss every time. So just keep that in mind. But other than that, there's not much to talk about. We drop blue beans, obviously, like I just said. Oh, I think you're supposed to spin jump over there, aren't I? I'm so smart! Alrighty, um, then let's just do that. Let's just spin jump across this gap. No gap will fool me. Ha ha! I have feats of... No one can, which, that was a terrible sentence. But who cares? Oh, the Bean Bean Brooch, a mark of special guest of the Bean Bean Kingdom. Very well, then, we shall permit you to enter these woods. We hope you will enjoy a taste of incredibly full-flavored Chocola Cola while you are here. Alright, so... Got these pair of beanies. I do believe you can hammer them when you're trying to first strike them, but other than that, you can't hammer them anywhere else. So keep that in mind, people. Ooh, that was a really good hit. Owie, that was not a very good dodge, but that was a very good counter. And I can just see all the speed differences between these rows from before and now. Up to now, now. Up to now, now. That was actually probably a good sentence, but it was awkward to say. 
Don't you hate it when that happens? Or do you love it? Is that a good thing or a bad thing to have, like, awkward sentences? I don't know. Eh, just, I smash you! You guys seen this Sharpie before? I mean, like, we're overpowered now, basically. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I was about to jump on that fool. If you hear something noisy in the background, it's a plane. No, no, it's Superman, actually. Alright, now welcome to Chocola Wood. Brewing Chocola Cola. Step 1. The main ingredient of Chocola Cola is Chocola Fruit, which grows only in Chocola Huff Woods. Brewing Chocola Huff Fruit. Place one Chocola Fruit in a barrel that's been spilled to the brim with savory stuff. Just tell funny jokes of fruit until it laughs. Brewing Chocola Cola Step 4. Bear in mind that the quality of both the fruit and the jokes will affect the brewing process. Um, the father of a Chocola Cola first generation Chateau owner is Bubbles. So we have this huge wine cellar here, and we just have to go for this huge maze that you can't really see very well. I don't know my way around the maze, because I haven't played this game um, for like about maybe a year. Yeah, I think that's accurate, about a year. And I think you're supposed to go right somewhere around here, and you're supposed to go to the left like this. And this is really very, very strange. Okay, if you go here, you have Popple, which is wow. someone you might recognize if you play Mario and Luigi Dream Team. Okay, so if you go over here, you're gonna have to go uh, to a, a boss fight, so make sure you're healed up, which I didn't, darn it. Ooh, blue, blast, criminy, the famous shadow thief Pop has been caught in full sight. Cripes! You think you're ready, do you? Well, somebody's more ready than me. See? I'll show you. Rookie, rookie, shake a leg. Yes, boss. Okay, rookie, it's your turn, see? I want you to squash those red and green to something. Yes, boss. Oh, that's its growth. Red and green, I feel like I know these two from somewhere. Weird. What? Rookie, are you saying you're acquainted with these two palookas? Yeah, something about them feels real familiar. It makes me feel real mad! Quit your babbling, you! You, you two ugly mugs came here for the same reason as us. You want the fable chick on the reserve. Boo! Boo, I say! You really think you can beat me to the punch? Well, open up those ears, punks. I, Popple, Shadow Thief, Filter of the World's Riches, bet you that I get the Rochecola Reservers. Rookie, yeah! To it. Alrighty, um, if he's smiling, he's gonna go to Luigi, if that's how you know. Okay, this is the eighth boss, Popple. Popple has 100 HP, 30 defense points, 100 um, S speed points, and 50 experience. He drops 30 coins, and if he grins, he'll attack Luigi. If he doesn't, he's gonna go after Mario. And if Rookie dies first, Popple will run away. However, if you attack Popple, Rookie will unleash the fury! And, um, yeah. So, pretty much, if you want more XP, attack Popple, which I will be doing. Rookie has 120 HP, 40 defense, 30 speed points, 110 experience, and he drops 34 coins. And he also drops a 1-up mushroom. Strangely enough, Rookie drops more coins than Popple does. But uh, don't ask me how that works, considering um, he's, he's just Rookie, I mean, Popple's slave. So yeah, as you can see... How dare you guys try to mess with the great Popple! As you can see, um, he gets attacked pretty much a bunch of times if you're if you're gonna attack Popple. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just cause I want more experience. And it's worth it. Owie. As you can see, he had a neutral expression, so that's the way that means he was gonna go attack Mario. It's kind of obvious if you know what's going on, if, and if you read a wiki on how to fight! And, obviously, I don't know how to fight because I keep getting hit by these things. Well, these hammers. 
And we defeated Puff Wolf. He was not hard at all. So, um, I actually think... I don't know if Rookie can actually breathe fire in this stage. I don't know. Probably not. Because I was just kidding. Hehe. <laughs> but, yeah. I think Rookie has more health anyway, so... Um, let me go check. Yeah, Rookie has 20 more health than, uh, than Popple does. I guess it makes sense, because he's a bulkier dude. But, he's, this guy... We can take this guy down easily. Derp. But, if you notice, he looks a lot like Bowser. And not to mention, Bowser, it... It seems a lot different than Rookie, because... As you know, Bowser doesn't work for anyone. For some reason, fighting these guys makes my gut flare up something fierce. Not to mention, Bowser's f uh, fire does not look like that in the first battle. Whoa, that was spicy! Dirt. Well, that kind of means he's getting close to being dead, so I guess it's a good thing. But I actually like fighting these guys, to be honest. They're a fun group. And that's a bunch of hell uh, XP. Good the heck! Rocky, you big out idiot! Who took you in when you were days and lost on the mountain? Me, you worthless vermin! I'm so ashamed. Yeah, I don't care, see? We're fine as long as we get the Chicola Reserve. But not mess with these two knuckleheads. We'll scram and hurry on. Hell yes. Alright, I'm gonna end the episode off here. Thank you all for watching, and see you in the next episode.